What do Queen Anne Victorian style homes surrounded by a 131 acre park have in common? It's Grand Park. You guessed it, today I am going to be doing my walking vlog tour of the Grant Park neighborhood. I am super ecstatic to show you this neighborhood. It is beautiful. I'm standing in the center of the Grant Park park and stay tuned as I show you the neighborhoods, the sites, what there is to do around here. So let's talk all about living in Grant Park right now. My name is Molly Slesnick and I am your walking talking tour guide here in the Atlanta area. So um, if you want to follow along, just definitely hit that like and subscribe button and hit that bell so you can be one of the first to be notified when I post a new video. But I'm here to help you out and find a neighborhood in the in-town Atlanta area that fits your lifestyle and your budget. So whether you're moving from out of state or just maybe moving from the burbs to the in-town Atlanta area, definitely you know shoot me a text, give me a call or um, send me an email if you have questions or put your comments in that comments box below but i am here to help you out so let's talk all things about grant park right now so let me just jump right into some of the details about grant park i'm going to put a map up here so you can kind of see where grant park is in relation to atlanta but you'll notice that grant park is just east of downtown it's literally one of the closest neighborhoods to downtown so if you work in that area you are in luck that's probably a five to seven minute drive for you if you're looking to go to the airport you got a really awesome commute for that maybe 12 15 minutes top so you're really good in that regard now if you want to go to midtown for some good eats then you're looking at maybe a 10 minute drive if you want to head over to decatur probably another 15 minutes or so now if you want to get up to buckhead i'm thinking you're going to be encountering about maybe a 25 minute ride uh you know there's really no great way i think you're going to just hop on 75 85 and make your way upwards that way um, you know if you work over in emory or the cdc the children's hospital you're probably looking at a 20 minute commute again not a great direct way you're going to have to cut through some neighborhoods and encounter stoplights um, but still not an overall horrible commute as far as schools go grant park is zoned to parkside elementary school martin luther king jr middle school i think they call it king middle and then Maynard Jackson High School. Now, if you Google these schools online, they you'll probably get some mixed reviews of whether they're good or bad. My take on it is they're ranked kind of in the middle, um, but I know some families that have their kids in Parkside Elementary and are totally fine with it. Now, there is one other school in the Grant Park area called the Atlanta Neighborhood Charter School. It is a lottery system and I have heard it is hard to get in because everyone has been on, puts their, their name on the lottery system and a lot don't get it. My suggestion always is if you are not for sure about the school system, definitely call them up and ask if you can get a tour or talk to some families that send their kids there um, or you know contact me and I'm sure I can put you in touch with someone that has their kids going to that school. As far as amenities of what's around Grant Park, well, let me just start by saying, you know, 10 years ago, Grand Park didn't have a lot going on. There weren't a lot of restaurants. There weren't grocery stores nearby. You kind of had to drive to over into Edgewood, which just took a little bit of time to get to the nearest grocery store. But in the last, I don't know, four or five years, things have blossomed over here and a lot of development has happened. You have the Beacon, which I'll show you in a little while, which is kind of a mixed use development area with um, just a mix of restaurants and shops and um, salon, a uh, hair salon, um, art vendors. So you got a mixed use development over there that is right along the Beltline. Now this part of the Beltline that goes through Grant Park currently is not paved. It's just gravel, but hopefully, you know, if you're watching this video in a couple of years, that will be a different story and it will be paved. But for now it is just gravel, but you can literally ride that um, Beltline trail up to Inman Park, Virginia Highland, or hit up Piedmont Park going one way and you can go the other way and go into kind of the West End area where there's more like breweries and restaurants and that kind of thing. Other options are along Memorial, you can just go 
west, I'm, let's see, no, east, down Memorial, I'm getting my directions mixed up, but you can go east on Memorial and you'll hit the Larkin on Memorial, which has a few restaurants and the Candler Park Market, which is one of my favorites. Then head down a little further on Memorial when you get into kind of the Cabbage Town, Reynolds Town area, there is another development called Madison Yards, which includes a Publix grocery store and there's some more restaurants to eat at um, but i should say the closest grocery store i'm always wanting to know where the grocery stores are because everyone has to shop at a grocery store right the closest grocery store is the kroger which is off of glenwood avenue over in glenwood park it's pretty new it's a nice kroger and there's also a chick-fil-a there which i'm always scoping out where the nearest chick-fil-a is in town um, so that is really great because you know, before that grocery stores there you really had to travel a ways to get to the nearest grocery store and there's going to be a new Publix that they're building over in the next door neighborhood summer hill so stay tuned for that one as well but other amenities besides the beltline and the beacon would be where i'm standing right now grant park so you can see I got, i'm right behind a playground here but grant park has tons of trails for running walking they've got a recreational center area they've got a public pool they have tennis courts, basketball courts, and the Atlanta Zoo is here in Grant Park, which is one of my favorite places to take my kids to. We have season passes and we love looking at the elephants, the lions, the panda bears. And I think secretly my daughter's favorite thing to do is ride the carousel horses. But um, anyway, I think she enjoys the animals too, but they just opened up a new section in the zoo it's very really really well done really beautiful um, it's a new section where the elephants are and the giraffes are so definitely check it out sometime it is a must thing you have to do here in atlanta one other amenity that i cannot forget to mention is the grant park farmers market you guys of all the farmers markets in atlanta i think the grant park farmers market is my favorite it's held on sunday from one to nine I'm sorry, from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m., my goodness. And it's, uh, I think, from April through December. So it is one of my favorite ones. It's kind of the largest one that I've seen. So you definitely have to go check it out sometime. All right, living-wise, so Grand Park is known for their Victorian homes. And if you watched one of my videos talking about Victorian homes in the Inman Park area, it's similar to that, but it's not going to be quite so expensive. So if you loved Inman Park, but it was not fitting your budget, you might want to consider Grant Park. So Grant, for Grant Park, the single family home median sales price in the last six months has been 560 k and that's on a three bedroom, two bath. Now, if you're looking at townhomes, there's a few, they're kind of closer to, most of the townhomes are near the Beltline area and the median price for a three bedroom, three and a half bath townhome was 407 k If you're looking at a condo, which there is a few of those options as well, a two bedroom, two bath condo, median sales price was 330000 So as I said, you're gonna encounter tons of Victorian style homes, which have a lot of character and charm. So if you are kind of like that historic junkie that loves all of the historic charm, this is an area you might wanna consider, okay? And this area has tons and tons of bungalows with those big rocking chair front porches, which is kind of in a, you know, a Southern staple here. And so you're gonna find a ton of those. Now, and the one thing, remember, these homes are pretty old. A lot of them are over 100 years old or approaching 100 years old. So old homes come with old problems. So just you have to know that you're going to have some maintenance to keep up with with on these old homes. But there's also some newer construction as well. So I'm going to show you a few examples of each of an, an older home, a new home, um, and a little bit of everything in between. So without further ado, let's just start walking so I can show you some home examples and show you around the neighborhood. All right, I'm gonna take you on a little tour of just a typical street here in Grant Park and show you a home that recently went under contract with multiple offers. But I just wanna show you, kind of look over here. You'll see that this is kind of a typical street. It's got cars on both sides of it. It's kind of narrow, but that's just what you're gonna find here. And you can see some of the homes here. They're pretty close together. Very typical bungalow style, cute front rocking chair, front porches. So I'm coming up to this house right here. You'll 
see. Right there it is. So cute front porch, great curb appeal. And you'll notice it does not have any type of driveway and it doesn't even have an alley access. So you're gonna just be parking on the street and that's pretty typical in this neighborhood. But let me put up some pictures so you can kind of see what this house looks like on the inside. Now this home was listed for 579,000. It's 1,408 square feet. It's a three bedroom, two bath. And you'll see it has a very cozy living room, not too big, but nice. It has an updated kitchen. It's a little on the narrow side, but it's still nice. The master bedroom is smaller, but it does have an updated bathroom. And then you'll see it has a nice backyard space and it's filled with tons and tons of charm. So um, yeah, you don't get any kind of off street parking, but the location is really nice. And there you have it. There is a typical bungalow in Grant Park. As I'm walking through these streets, I do want to point out one thing about the Grand Park neighborhood. You want to pay attention to what the parking situation is at the house you may be looking for. So not all the homes have driveways. They may have alleyway access. So this is an alleyway access and you'll see right here, this house has a carport. So some homes will have an alleyway access, some won't. Some may just have street parking. So if you have a garage or some alleyway access for, for any kind of off street parking, that's gonna increase your home's value. But hey, check out this cute little bungalow right there. One other thing I should point out about some of these streets is that the sidewalks aren't always in the best condition. Let me show you an example of one that you really gotta be watching your stuff on. All right, I wanna show you a few examples of some of the Victorian style homes, like this one right here. It is so beautiful. Let me get you a better angle shot of it. Just check that out. Look at the details on that. So amazing. Okay, you guys, I just was walking and randomly saw this. Check this out. They're little bunnies. It's a little bunny house. My daughter would flip if she saw that. All right, here's another Victorian style home. Now this one I particularly remember because it was an ice sore. It needed tons and tons of work. And I am so pleased to see that someone has spent the time and the money to fix this place up because it is stunning. It is right behind me right here. Let me show you a little closer up. Another thing you're going to encounter in Grant Park is that it feels like there's a church on every corner. I mean, literally, here's a church and catty corner from it, another church. So it is just one of those things like every corner has a church. Now I know I've been talking a lot about single family homes, but I wanted to give you an example of some of the townhomes that are here in the Grant Park area. And I'm standing right behind them right here. And generally these are gonna be in the 300s, maybe the low 400s, but just right somewhere in between that spot. But these are really great because they are coincidentally they are right by the Beltline, which, you know, the Beltline didn't exist seven years ago, but um, these just happen to be on the Beltline now. So it's very, an advantageous spot for someone who's looking to get on the Beltline at a fairly affordable price. And I just showed you a townhome, but I wanna also show you that we do have some condos in the Grant Park area, like these behind me. And a one bedroom is gonna run somewhere in the low 200s, and I'm sorry, maybe mid 200s. And then a two bedroom condo in this area is going to be just around the 300K mark. So a little bit of something for everyone. Another church on a corner. <laughs> 
If older homes are really not your thing, Grant Park does have some newer construction homes going up kind of all over, but I'm in a little complex here, which is called kind of like an executive, executive style complex or a cluster home. So basically it's all house, no yard, and these literally have no backyard. But here's an example of a house that has been under contract. It went under contract in five days and it was listed for $789,900. So let me show you some examples of the interior space. So these were built in 2017. This is a four bedroom, three and a half bath. It's 2,823 square feet. You'll see that it has a large living space that opens to a white kitchen. It has a sizable master bedroom and a large bathroom, but it doesn't have a backyard. So if, like I said, if old homes are not your jam, there is new construction and it's kind of popping up everywhere here in the Grant Park area. All right, on my final stop, I want to show you a home that's in the 400K range, just in case, you know, maybe your budget's more around there, not in the six to 700s, but here's a home that sold for 425,000. It's a two bedroom, one bath home. Let me show you some pictures of it. You'll see that it is a renovated bungalow with an open living and dining area. It has a small but updated white kitchen, it has some nice bedrooms and baths, but you'll see it has a very, very little backyard. But you know, if you're wanting a single family home and 400K is kind of your budget, there are gonna be options here in the Grant Park area, but they will probably be a two bedroom home. Um, one other thing I wanna point out, you'll see that little sunburst thing, that's kind of um, typical in this neighborhood. Everyone buys a little sunburst to mark their home and it's a super cute feature of this neighborhood. All right, now I wanna just take you on a drive around some of the neighborhoods so you can kind of just see what the homes are like, what the streets look like, and then we'll hit up some of the eateries and places to hang out in the Grant Park area. to pop out of my car and show you just the cutest little park. We'll, we'll take our kids here. It's called Ormond Grant Park. Great place for a birthday party. I am over here at the Beacon, which is one of Grant Park's newest additions to the neighborhood. It's at the very southern end of the neighborhood, right along the Beltline, but it's like a mixed use development. It has a little bit of everything. There's an artist cove where the artists have their little shop set up. There's a tattoo parlor. There's a dermatologist. There's 
I'm standing right here, there's an Asian place, and um, I actually went in and got some cookies from my favorite little cookie spot indoors, but they have a little mixture of whatever kind of eateries. Uh, they got Event Tide Brewery, which has an awesome outdoor patio space, and then there's a Patria Cocina Mexican restaurant, has an excellent patio space and good margaritas. And we've got Buteco, which has some fantastic coffee. And then I'm gonna take you up a little bit and show you some of the newest condos here called the Stacks. So here I am in front of the Pratt Stacks. They are two and three bedroom condos. They are kind of the newest condos that you can find here in the Grant Park area. Uh, this section is already completed, but then there is a new phase going in that you can see is still a work in progress. They're really just at ground zero right now, but these go anywhere from the 400s to the five, the bid 500s. But the great thing about these is like they are right across the street from the Beacon and all the eateries. And there's this hidden proper, which is kind of a fun um, brew pub and you can play, it's kind of like cornhole, but with bowling pins. So kind of a cool concept there. And then right over here literally is the Beltline. Now this part of the Beltline is not done yet. It's just gravel, but you can still get on it and walk over to other neighborhoods. I mean, you could all go all the way up to Piedmont Park, like I said earlier, um, but it's a pretty, pretty cool spot. I'm gonna walk just up around this corner. So I'm on Cherokee Avenue and there's a little tiny pocket of a few restaurants. So I'm gonna show you those next. Well, I was going to show you this pizza joint, but they are staging it for some kind of movie set. So now it looks like it's a French bakery. And then right over here, we have Dakota J, not Dakota J's, Dakota Blue. And it's kind of like a family friendly neighborhood joint for tacos, some burgers, salads. I'm right here on Memorial and Cherokee Road, and I'm standing behind Rhea Bluebirds, which is a phenomenal breakfast spot. In fact, if you are here on the weekend, plan to stay in line or stand in line rather uh, because this place has a wait list. But right next door, you're going to see a 10 Lizzie's. And then on the opposite side of me, you're going to find six feet under, which is like a fish house. It has a very extensive list of fish plates and platters. And you may be wondering, why is it called six feet under? It's because we are directly across from Oakland Cemetery, which I'm gonna hit up next. All right, you guys, I am in the Oakland Cemetery, which is, I mean, it reminds me of kind of like the cemeteries in New Orleans, if you've ever visited one of those. This cemetery is filled with 70,000 residents, if you wanna say it like that. Uh, but there's a lot of famous people that are buried here, and I'm gonna just name off a few that you might recognize their names like we have Margaret Mitchell, who was the author of Gone with the Wind. We have Maynard Jackson, who was the first African-American Amer African Atlanta mayor. We have Bobby Jones, you know, the, the golfer. And this one I didn't realize until I was kind of researching this before doing this video, but Kenny Rogers, who just passed away in 2020, he's actually buried here, right here in the Oakland Cemetery. Um, now, if you want to visit this cemetery, they do walking tours on the weekends and then during the Halloween time, I think they do kind of like a spooky tour that's held in the evenings. They also do a Run Like Hell 5K. Apparently, it's the largest cemetery 5K. I haven't done that race yet, but that'll have to be on my bucket list. But anyway, I'll show you a few sites of the Oakland Cemetery. It's definitely worth taking a walk around one time.
okay you guys i think that's gonna wrap it up for me today it's like 88 degrees out so i'm ready to head indoors but thank you for joining me on my grant park tour today if grant park wasn't your cup of tea stay tuned i will be posting more neighborhood tours that hopefully one of them will fit your lifestyle and your budget but you know if you're looking to move tomorrow or maybe a year from today then you know definitely send me a text, give me a call or shoot me an email. If you have any questions, I'm here to help you out. But until next time, I will see you later. And uh, yeah, I'm going to get out of this cemetery. So see ya.